Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon once again. Uh, welcome to another yet uh, the Youth Bantaba show here on Gambian Talent Promotion. Uh, as we uh, always um, do it um, every Friday, we come up with a crucial topic that we'll be discussing um, in related to youth issues and then um, children. And uh, with me here, uh, I am Maria Macham uh, with my co-presenter Umujalo. Uh, but today we have, as I said, a very important topic to deal with. And then uh, later on in our um, program, we will talk about it more. But I will just allow Umijalo to introduce herself and then uh, we elaborate on the topic of discussion. This is the Youth Bantabashu. Hello, viewers. Uh, welcome to yet another edition of the Youth Bantabashu, as Mariama has highlighted. And I am Umijalo, one of the hosts of, you, of the Youth Bantabashu here on Climate Talents Promotion. And every Friday, we come up with issues that are related to, to the development of youth and children. So today, we deem it necessary to invite a youth uh, to have a, a discussion or a panel discussion with him with regards to the issue of uh, politics. What are the rules of youth in politics? That is a topic of discussion today. So I'll just allow him, or I'll just give him the platform to introduce himself better. Um, thank you very much, Maria Macham and Umijalo. Um, I will thank you very much once again for inviting me to share the little that I know about the topic mentioned. Uh, my name is Marijalo, um, working for Peace Ambad, Salos de Gambia, an organization working around peace building and uh, conflict management. All we do is advocacy and peace education. So that is me, and I am hoping that by the end of the, uh, the session we will uh, get something very important. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Amur Jalo. Uh, it's it's a great pleasure having you today in our show because I think this is very important as youth. Um, this is something that we need to discuss about all the time because um, today, as Umi said, our topic of discussion is going to center on um, the role of young people or the role of youth in peace building and then with the upcoming um, election that is coming, which is the political um, affiliation that we always talked about, because we deem it necessary that um, uh, it is very important to talk about it, because we are approaching to the election, and then Peace Ambassador also is an organization whereby um, uh, they advocate for peace. And then when you looked at the Gambia, uh, the political setting, um, youths are the ones that vote. But um, before the voting um, take place, um, there, there are so many conflicts that are going around in our society, sometimes, you know, fighting, quarreling, and argument. So um, today, we deem it necessary to sensitize youth and tell them what are their roles and what should they do in order to make sure that we have a conducive and then sustainable environment in order to keep it to ourselves. Because politics is not about fighting, it's not about quarreling, it's not about, you know, against one another, but to understand each other so that we can be in the same level. And today with us here, Amadou um, is a very young dynamic leader and then we, we are always um, uh, eager to, to have him on board because Amadou is working um, tirelessly when it comes to contributing immensely towards the nation development and he is not only working um, at the Youth Ambassador or um, um, as a member of the um, Peace Ambassador the Gambia but he is also a social worker and then um, he has been to the field for quite a long time. So I think having you today with us is a great pleasure and opportunity so that we know because um, there was a time that I, I, I listened to one of your conversations that you made mention of. You said that inside us, uh, we don't ha uh, there is peace. I, I, there was a word that you use it and frame it. And that word, I kept it on my mind and I said that well, what I'm going to say is very, very important because sometimes I might think that I, I have peace, not knowing that inside me I don't. So um, in a brief explanation, I want you to tell us um, uh, like a little bit of your organization, what you do, and then we get into the topic. Um, thank you. Um, my organization is Peace Ambassador to Gambia. Mm -hmm. um, I came on a personal invitation to this um, program, uh, but then that is where I got this knowledge on peace and peace building. Um, it is an organization comprising of young people working towards peace 
through non-violence means that one of our key things is that we promote non-violence in everything and anything that we do. That we want to show the whole world that young people can be, be peaceful, can be peace agent and peace, peace you know, advocates to better society. That is why we have this motto, give peace a chance. We work on um, uh, conflict management, and that is when conflict arises. But we so work on conflict prevention, that to, to educate young people on how to manage conflict when it arises, but also how to prevent it, how to avoid it. Because basically, um, conflict is something that which is natural. That uh, sometimes we tend to mix conflict and violence, and I think we will come to that later. But then conflict is something that we human beings cannot do away or, or, or because since day one of of the human being, as we are taught by holy books, that conflict started in heaven. When God wanted to, you know, to like a create the, the first human being, that there was conflict. And we continue to live with that conflict up to date. And we will never do but um, uh, leave that conflict because that is what makes us human. And for development to occur, for changes to occur, there must be conflict. Because when you look at the simple definition of conflict, mm -hmm. it tells you what? Incompatibility of goals. Mm -hmm. So if it is the incompatibility in goals, um, for there to be development, there must be arguments that we use this way or, no, or let us use the other way. Mm -hmm. That is why when you tell me to come and talk about the role of youth in peace building in connection to elections, mm -hmm. then I say, oh, what am I going to talk about? Because elections themselves are conflict. Because, of course, of course, of course, election is different in, in ideas. Mm -hmm. Party A, party B, party C want to move this particular society to another level, but with different ideas. That, that is conflict. So what will we say now is that the role of young people in preventing violent conflict. Because conflict more exists. So I think that is basically what the basis of conflict is. And that, that is what my organization do actually as these ambassadors become. Thank you, Ahmadu. I think that is well understood. And I believe one of the motivating factor why we invited you is because we have seen um, how you participated in the 2016, 2017 or 2016 election uh, that was uh, during uh, Jambes regime. We have seen how the youth have participated immensely towards that change. And I believe, um, like Mariama said, the election is fast approaching. So I just want you to tell the viewers uh, what is your own understanding when we say politics? What is politics? Um, okay. Um, politics is. Um, something that which I personally see as a system where people have the chance to choose their expectations. Mm -hmm. That you are looking at the different candidates and parties that are telling you that when you put me to power, that this is what I will give you. That, so now you are passing, choose your expectation. One. Two, it give you the chance to grant power, that you, as the person, grant power to the person that you think can meet your expectations. Mm -hmm. But after granting power, then you, as that person, have the, the time and chance to monitor progress. To me, that is what politics is about, especially in connection to elections. Yes. Okay, now, uh, is it that your organization as you have said, peace ambassadors, the Gambia, are they politically affiliated with all the parties or? Um, we are non-political. Um, that is, we don't associate with parties on political grounds. Because being a peace amb amb educator and advocate, that is one of the most difficult side of it. Mm -hmm. that there are times that which you have support for someone but you cannot show it openly because of your role as a peace um, educator and advocate mm -hmm. because elections are conflict in general mm -hmm. and there are sometimes expectations of violent conflict occurring 
and you are expected to come and reconcile people. How will you re reconcile people if you are known to be connected to a, 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 a particular party involved in that particular violent conflict? So is why you maintain neutrality. Yes, so, yes. so what you are trying to say is you guys are neutral. You are not on the, on the side of anyone. No. So with issue of the election that is coming, or with the previous election that have taken place since your existence, uh, existence as an organization, mm -hmm. um, what, how do you take part in these elections? Um, we take part in elections through election observation. Um, what is election observation? Um, election observation is Okay, something that which we know that is not very popular in the Gambia, especially in certain communities. Uh, what we know is election duties and so on. But election observers are, are there who go to monitor the fairness, freeness, and transparency of a particular election. And in doing that, you are taking part in peace building. Because when you maintain fairness, where there is no fairness, there, there is no peace. Where there is no freedom, there is no peace. Where transparency is absent, there is no peace. So when you take part in helping to maintain those issues within an election, you are taking part in peace building for that election. And that is what we do in every election that takes place in the Gambia. Presidential, parliamentary, and local government. That is councillors, and we will be observing the coming mayoral and uh, uh, yeah, passing city elections, but not just that. We we go 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 down to constitutional level to organize their to uh, conduct their you know, elections, like schools like the GTTI, um, 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 uh, associations like Young uh, Journalist Association of the Gambia. We conduct their you know, elections. So that is what we do around elections. That is how we take part in elections, but not in campaigning for anyone, not in supporting anyone, but that is by observing and conducting elections for people. Okay, that is also clear. So do you, how do you, what are the procedures you use to observe these elections? Do you, as an office, do you go to one polling station or do you send people to go outside to observe for you and later communicate to you? Or what are the procedures you use? Um, the like uh, procedures we use are those given by the IEC that you have to be registered with them. For instance, you have to apply for observation, okay. and when you apply, you get the acceptance. But you send a list for accreditation. That that is we we use young people, capacitize them on the area, and accredit them through the IEC for them to, to observe for us in various constituencies and polling stations. Yeah. Um, so, uh, like, uh, with the issue of the observation, mm -hmm. so is it like someone who is just interested would come and join, or do you take members of your organization to observe that election? Um, no. We and, don't and, 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 and what impact will it have? Um, um, Equipping those young people okay. with the with the with the knowledge and skills to be able to observe an election. Okay. Um, when people are involved, they participate, and when they participate, they understand, and that is what I personally call okay that the learning is in the serving. While you serve, you learn. So when you you know put together young people, both members and non-members orient them, capacitize them on the observation tools and what is required for observation, you are building them as human beings because they are part of the elections. And when they do it, they, they, they get the experience. They are gathering knowledge as young people and that will make them not to act otherwise because the person who don't know and go pretend to know is a dangerous person. But when you um, involve young people in such things, let them witness it, understand it, know it. When they know it, they might not act negatively because they know. No? 
So that is why we gather young people, expose them to things, build their capacities, and use them as a lesson of the hours. What impact is it making? Um, that is, as I said, it is capacitizing them. One. No, to the, to the, to the entire... To the entire yeah, society. Yes, and with, with, uh, and also, like, uh, looking at the, the political phenomenon in the Gambia, what impact is it making? Um, just as I said, um, when you um, observe elections, you are observing uh, elections to maintain fairness, to maintain what? Transparency. To maintain what? Freedom. So when you are doing that, obviously, you are maintaining a just system. So in doing that, okay, how was the elections, or how were they going to look if there were no observers? How will the examination hall look without a supervisor? It can look fun. Someone can come out and, and shout foul play that, yes, this particular person uh, passed the test because he was stealing. Who will be the judge there? Who will be the witness? So that is why observers are, are, are important within the electoral System. Yeah. yeah, thank you very much, Amadou. Um, you made mention of something that is very, very important. But then again, we come back to the topic of discussion that is um, to ensure that um, peace are within us in our society and then as youth. Because uh, we realize that in the Gambia or within our society setting, um, sometimes um, youths uh, tend to violate each other per se. Oh, uh, with the with the upcoming election that is coming, uh, we've seen um, um, so many conflict within our surrounding in our home setting. In fact, um, uh, for example, I, I, I may belong to a, a particular party, whereas you belong to this particular party too, and we too are friends. But due to political affiliation, um, sometimes we see that's where the barrier comes in. So uh, as I said, the topic of discussion is the role of youth in peace building and then uh, with the upcoming election. So I want you to tell us, we as youths, what should we do to ensure that there is peace in us and then able to advocate for it again? Because um, your logo says, um, give peace a chance. Mm -hmm. So um, in giving peace a chance, um, how do we ensure that we give peace a chance to people when I as an individual don't have peace in my Thank you very much. Um, well, I think that is first by kind of defining peace. Mm -hmm. um, peace can have three phases. Mm -hmm. um, that is the inner consciousness of the individual. Mm -hmm. That is the inner you. That, that is the you yourself. Mm -hmm. That are you in peace as a person, as a human being? Hmm? a state of inner consciousness arising from personal tranquility in harmony with nature the personal tranquility is yes you are in peace what about you and the society you and other people in harmony with nature what about that natural thing that exists that supreme being that 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 exists that yes you want to come to this um, uh, session, but because of a sickness, you cannot come. You were coming, your vehicle had an accident. That is supernatural thing. Those are controlled by supreme things. You will not have peace. But that is peace. Like when, when the inner you is as a result of the surrounding in harmony with nature, you are at peace. So first, as human beings, as young people, we look at ourselves, monitor ourselves. Are we in peace? I want to go and complain, complain about this. Am I myself good at it? That is the inner you. That here, yes, my man, yeah. That yes, I am in peace. Now let me start to move to the next one. But not just that. You see, there are some elements that control this peace and conflict issues. And we can kind of talk about them. That is perception, combustibility, and power. 
these three things within young people, if can be managed, we can maintain peace. Your perception towards issues, why don't we start to ask many questions? What? Why? How? That yes, party so is bad. Why is that party bad? Is that party actually bad? How is it bad? That is, you raise questions. That is, to clear your perception. Because when we perceive our differences to be traced to our needs, getting our needs, they are comes conflict. So why don't we clear those perceptions? That I think that Mariama Chan's party is corrupting the system. Why not I try to find out? Let me know. Clear the perceptions. But not just that. Controlling your combustibility. That is, how quick do you react negatively towards issues? You easily get angry. Can we control that? And that is where discipline comes. That is where you have the wisdom and the tolerance. That is why I tell people this. There are two key issues that we need to maintain peace in society. That is wisdom and tolerance. That the one acting to act with wisdom, the one receiving or reacting to act with tolerance. That yes, you offended, you fail to come with wisdom. The one who is offended, accept it in tolerance. When that happens, will there be violent conflict? And that is what young people need, wisdom. When you are approaching anything that is wrong, approach it with wisdom. Solely the person taking it will take it with tolerance. But if you fail to act with wisdom, let the person taking it take it in tolerance. And when that, that happens, there will not be violence. And there we will get to the non-violence way to peace building. That is where people will tell you this. Be ready to die, but not to kill. That in your struggle, be ready to die, but not to kill. But how many of us look at, look at it that way? Mostly we, we use terms as young people that which we don't embrace. Most of us today, um, uh, may his soul rest in peace, uh, sing solo sandeng and so. But do we kind of emulate him? And when we start to talk, we talk to say that he died for the Gambia. But do we emulate him? Did he kill? He was, re he was ready to die to change a system, but he was not ready to kill. That was why when he was going out, he did not go with a cutlass. He did not go with a gun. He did not go with a knife, but with a message. But as young people, do we take that? Mostly, our approaches are, let us go and force it. But by taking that approach of forcing it, we are not clear about the issue that we are going to change because it is perception that is moving us. So first, when we clear perception, we now move with wisdom and be tolerating issues. There comes power as the third factor. That people tend to use their power so frequently. That because I am vocal, let me go and talk. You, you have that power to talk and influence people. But use that power wisely. Hey, yes, no, if this person talk, we all listen, we all love it. But how well do you use your power as a young father? It is important in the whole issue. So as young people, these are things that we need to be maintaining peace, not just during the elections, even after elections, and even in our daily lives and activities. Yeah. Yeah, I think we may want to add something on that. Yes, I think uh, I am also learning. I have learned a lot with regards to what you guys do and how you try to put across your message. But then I would just want you to tell us, or tell, tell us with the viewers who are, who are watching, uh, what are the rules of youth in the upcoming election? Um, the role of youth in the upcoming elections, um, I believe one is to be their selves. One, that as young people, we be ourselves. How? 
that we are taught to become the cream of society. And the cream of society, you know, when you look at the term cream means something that which you can apply to objects mm -hmm. for them to move without collusion. Mm -hmm. So as young people, let us be the cream to move in society without being in collusion. If an object like two metals lost a cream, meaning they keep on, you know, hitting one another. Mm -hmm. But with the cream, they wouldn't. They will move softly and easily. Can young people be that cream? Let them not be by name that cream of society, cream of society. But can they become the cream? That let them be the ones that will be connecting people. Let them not be divider. Let them not be people who will go to instigate violence. But not just that. Let them know themselves how. That we are identified as violent people. But I once read a message on the social media about a particular picture of a soldier mm -hmm. which was kind of complaining about old men you know, creating wars that which young people will go and kill themselves. But can we start to know ourselves? that we get the power, that we are the cream. Should we allow the old men to be using us? That they be behind and tell us to go for violence? When we take um, a part in violence, tomorrow when we want power, they will tell us, no, 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 if you come to power, you will fight because you are known for fighting. Mm -hmm. But they we are the people that force us to go and fight. They started the fighting. So let us know ourselves, one, as young people. Two, let us utilize the capacity, the knowledge that we are having. If we are told to be people that are educated, I think, think education comes not just on papers. It should appear in your behaviors and actions. Do we utilize them? And it, it sounds funny when you see those terms as most educated acting otherwise. But can we better utilize it that, yes, we are called the educated population, that, that, that we, we sit with parents, tell them that your time in the Gambia, you did not go to school. We are schooled. Can we manifest that in our behaviors? Because in the school, we are not forced to learn. We are taught in different ways, in different pedagogical terms, sometimes by singing, clapping, dancing, writing, saying, touching. That is the various means used to make you understand. Can't we continue using what was done to us in the classroom to make people full, full understand when we differ in ideas? If we differ, can't we dialogue? Because that is what we are taught in school. In the teachings that we have in, in the uh, school system are, are done through talks. Mm -hmm. A teacher come talk to you, you understand, accept it, and you pass your exams. Can't you do that with your fellows? With with your propositions, talk to them, dialogue with them, educate them. Because if somebody is at the opposite end, sometimes we say that, let me educate you. Educate the person, mm -hmm. but don't fight the person. So I think, you know, when we utilize these things, we can become those people in society who the adults can be very, very confident of giving positions. Because, you know, we cannot be called future leaders. That's the fact. We are not future leaders. No, no. You are not future leaders. You are present leaders. Because you cannot take me to nursery school, lower basic school, junior school, senior school, university of the Gambia, the highest institution in the Gambia, yet you are telling me that I'm a future leader. <laughs> when will I become a leader? It's a question. So I think we should utilize that which we are learning to become the leaders mm -hmm. that we should be. But not just that. We remember that in our um, statistics on, of population, we are termed as 64%. As youths, right? Youths. Mm -hmm. 64% of the Gambia's population are youths. Mm -hmm. okay, now, what if we divide ourselves that, yes, let us each treat peace in our homes, in our societies, I believe that every home will be peaceful. For sure. So, mm -hmm. because we are 64%, mm -hmm. we are more than half. Mm -hmm. 
So we can each go to a home or a, a society and reach in peace. Reach in peace. Yes. So you you can see that we are not utilizing these things that we have. The power that we have, the knowledge that we have, and the size that we have. That that is size in population. Which when we do, we get to the 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 core of communities. That that Umi and Mariam as educated people on children's rights go to their home, talk about children's rights. Maybe because that is what you are taught. Mm. But we learn things and don't practice them often. But not just that, young people too should stop confusing the society. Mm. For instance, Amadou Jalo, being a peace advocate, cannot be seen in his community fighting. You are confusing society. You call yourself peace advocate today, tomorrow you are seen fighting. Oh, you are Malaysian. Malaysian. <laughs> you are doing violence. You are confusing the people. So young people should be specific that this is who we are and this is what we represent. We talk it, we do it. Mm -hmm. In a respectable way. In a respectable way. With wisdom and with tolerance. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot become, okay, call yourself that gender activist who go on harassing women. Or even sometimes talk to the people in a very impolite way. Thank people you. will talk to you, hey, Dimbale Maba. People will be like, wow, is this the actual Maria Macham that I know? The one who normally sits at the radio and start advocating. Yeah. And today I am talking to her and just, she is just responding Honestly. to me like this. You are confusing the whole? Yes. The whole, the, the whole of society. Mm -hmm. That Maria Macham is telling people that talk in a polite way. We are now seeing Maria Macham acting arrogantly. Mm -hmm. What is Maria Macham telling us? He is confusing everyone. Obviously that you are mis misleading the people, that you are not telling us who really is Maria Macham. Mm -hmm. And that is not in connection to peace. Mm -hmm. be be because with peace, you have to be consistent, that what you talk about is what you do. Mm -hmm. Then the final thing can be respect for law, as young people. Mm -hmm. That whatsoever that we do should be in connection to the law. Yes, someone might say that there are bad laws. Mm -hmm. But those bad laws in the Gambia are put in place if there are bad laws. They, they, they are put up by Gambians. Mm -hmm. Those laws are put up by Gambians. So until those laws are out, we abide by those laws. But what we can do is to continue advocating for them to be removed. So as educated people, who send educated people to make laws? Because we, when I'm um, uh, um, electing people to the parliament, mm -hmm. we as young people complain that let us elect the competent ones. So those competent ones are the ones that formulated those laws. Mm -hmm. So we take those laws and, and abide by the laws. laws of the law. Let us be law abiding. Yeah, that when we become law abiding, we will surely get peace. That in our work, let us recognize that ah, there are a lot of that people to doing the same work, but in a different way. For instance, as a peace advocate, I love that part that we talk of dialogue and understanding. But let me not forget the role of the police officer with the handcuff. He's so maintaining peace. But not just that. Let, let me not so let that not make me hate the poli uh, uh, the soldier man with the gun. He's also maintaining peace. That for us, a, a peace advocate, when I go to bed at night, it is him who co protects my borders. But not just that. Let, let me also not underrate the role of the teacher holding the chalk. That yes, we need peace. But in getting peace, we need to educate the people. So when there are educated people, there can be peace. So let the teacher continue teaching. But the doctor with the injection too is, too is important. So let us not underrate each other's work and efforts. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Today it seems like I am seeing Dr. Sisi, or I am seeing a professor 
To be honest, I am really learning a lot. I wish I can be brave like Amadou, to be talking to young people. Do this, do that, you can, no. <laughs> uh, we are really uh, learning from you and then uh, I, I, I am really grateful to have you. So to just remind viewers that are watching, this is the Youth Bantaba Show. And today we have Honorable and Dr. Ahmadu Chalo. No, 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 no. I am not. <laughs> Who is talking not. about the role of young people in not. peace building with the upcoming election. And we've seen various points that Ahmadu, Ahmadu has elaborated, which is so very vital. Yes, and uh, we will get into the local language, whereas you will tell our full of people what you were saying. <laughs> So, um, what are you talking about? Right? Ah, then judge if I see something. Um, as set and bolen de ba how do you set and ajuma budget? Ah, PC Gambian Talent Promotion. See program bolen de ba how do you for amal fee called the youth banta ba show. Ah, then now come no more don't worry. Rex Kala man nasara. Then mom then she am poh hamne. You ni pa ni talk defni. Ome yin ni at lohay. Kune ka ni talk di jigu because of our the words in Mogini. Wow, Dr. Lenke, I'm a <laughs> professor of the world. I'm a professor of the world. I'm a professor of the world. I'm a professor of the the world. I'm a professor of the world. I'm a professor of the the uh, young people, you bury man and dawi, um, then they buga and the Jaffa Jaffa singer with Yefi politic at Yefi May and Tejama. Paskete, Yimuna Nekasa had it. I'm going because of election bangi and you, a man, madam support party B, younger support party belly, Subova, man, man, Aki, Yolango, two, your Hamulo, Loydef, Hanga, Subova, and you, and the Dal, I, I, Jaffa Jaffa, your Hanga, you name, didn't meet you soon be, but at the end of the day, you Muna Hall and Tawal and you, Sandy, you want to act at you now. Why is it a bit what I want to feel? I'm so lonely. Uh, Luneka so called the Fred of our and the year dal a day. Paskit is your honey come in the naked you are. And I know that most of the viewers that are watching the show um, are very interested to young in the body silver because I'm linked with one year a degala. They am you based on fact. Man, I'm linked with you naked you are here. Young could be see and I'm you take young. They am Luluna. They is my set and I'm just an armor. Mugi wahwa yu am solo yi. The next man in Magina Magisla Sibiano Club. Kondan Lanyo. Ne Amadu Mutua won the one you see me at Nila Yuara de Montesi Wapa Mumla take as a palas be. To Fokna and Lulu Ama am solo la. Ah, see Silino Watani. Te Quinfi am Nimu Amadu Jalo, Mumugi Bayako, am Botai Bunu Oye Peace Ambassador de Gambia. Young Maxine am Ligere, am Silino Yungu Moy, you make sure ne Dine Jangal Ningi Langway Jam. Because the jam alone, I'm I'm solo. I'm Munna Munna. When I'm not jam, I'm going to talk. The next one you'd better be sure be an umi. Why? Hey, this is my beer. So I'm going to talk. Why? Hey, I'm going to mind be. Hey, I'm not jam. Because if you're going to talk, why? Marad, you're going to move jeki jeki. Then dance some more. So so what? Lolo, Tamit, Nekano, Lolo, Hamne. From Belay, I'm going to jam. I'm going to walk. Nekup Siman. Then I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to I'm not sure wax mal mu start ko dima wax yefi family am bi ne papa am dese na yaaya am dese man ma fok ne eh ma ma leeni o bena boy wax ko ne lan lan moy dese boy bi wax man ne designer man ne ko o lolu ba designer mom kay ba na te ko yo lolu moy yaaya am gañu na papa am gañu na man man ko wax ne he lolu ba na Gambia. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
surtout ma he o waktu mo ganada beddal carte na wana he do am sabu wonde suka kam dum ko wonde suka rek kono na hewi hen ko min kewa be dole go o te ko min kewbe idi te ko min cholla be wat hunde ne ganada bo kala mo de wawi amba yide kono he wadde dum fof sala in wada dal kala no bawata wad hunde da wardu de id he nedi na moddi nedi non wonane pour ko ganada ko e minelli ma adana mo hodo londe gadana kam bo adana ala nedi woni hay an hore ma si ko an tan sa ni no batta hore ma sa tawna yaadi he nedi woni hono he si tawi tan ada wada hunde badrande he nedi badrande he tere kono sada hepo hunde kadi wala neddo si wadi ma hunde ne gandan ane de yaadani he he lawol kepo rande he munyal sabu ko dum wadi mawbe be ko hewi hen kala ko be kalata be biya munye ko munyal addata jam sabu neddo kam gilima ma sosa dawa dawi ko kam yo gede de gandan da de belane rek sabu ne dum taki neddo jodaki kono te dum fof ko munyal rek so kala munyo rek ko hewen ko kepo wajam den non wadi sukabe be ne gattida hakkilaaji e munya be ganda wonde na dumde ko ko waktu beddal carte beddal carte non aranaani pour kabe hay si don gondi suudu wotru on baawi beddano be bana guna wotu be sabu min hono pirti ratmi dum woni ko yimbe dari be biibe en cholli nab yeso kono hono be nabata en yeso woni goto o wima min de simi nabat ma yeso hono hande den do wesfi cholleni ya banyu goto o wima min de si en ja ad banyu mi nabran ma taxi goto wima ala taxi na seri o wima si ko min ko gele gele goto wima ala nabran helicopter kono en dara joni hono in yata an hoko popda uri moddu he mada yo hoko uri dan faida bedda no da on ko dum woni kono en fof taw en cholli jottaade banyu den non si dum na wada en fotani ha fi dum sabu ko jotta gol banyu ha jo cholli e cholli kan mbo mbo kala fogi ko dum fogi te ko dum nafta en banjul kan den kan yo en hokkotir chance ndaren hombo nafta en banjul kono si hay si en wonani non ne he ngol wad gol dum ne on bi do kam de ko kari o solli accir dum he mi jomu gatida dum he cholla dum kono wata a force dum wala wata a yennir dum dum wata a sukir dum dum kana de hanti kala na dum sabu ko wite ko re hala kam kamin wayi fo si a a lappi neddo ko bandunu lappuda te ko biyeten ko woni hey hakkil woni neddo den non hakkil lappande me memata hakkil ko hala memata hakkil den halan on jomum chali do support de parti ma wala candidat ma do pour o wawa support candidat ma do sabu si en neli sukabe jango go ni school ko be 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 tawta be ton ko hala be jangi nirta be den non si tawtan hala jangi ni neddo ko nene halan on neddo chali do support parti ma o pour o fama o anduma o fama ne de lawol ngol bamda ngol ngol woni lawol si en badi non rek en kebat jam o me lanu mo ko ki rek la gis bol bo xamne ono a hali bam nga amatu wallahi de ko bol de ko na bol ba ba le ki la ko bol dama benni wartu be mu nibu ga jam ta tem am awon lu wofi diga la yu bari bari ay dam ko la ci si pool awon amu te amu te bali gi la ci ko si pool la mo final water okay jone awon do ango won woni ko hon no hala won no sokirta program um hala ka sokirat mi ko program woni um neddo kala ko wadata dal accita hakkil e jam jam non wona ko gandam dan ne da in wawi ni ala jam wona ko heptete jam riwete rek waktu fof de pokta a hebi jam rek goddum arat so jam kan fokkitan tere ya an tere kono kala ko baaden wonne rek gatiden hakkil e jam e baden in sora da gatiden ko hayen non a hande de min wada dum kono min dum do etani ko pour jam etani dum e awa joni kadi mi ranno ma goddum tum ko honno woni ko no halanta suka be nyawo op komin election a kom election aro wodo ko hunnum ko hunnum be duwa wonde advice on nun jogani da am advice am neddo kam ko neddo hore mum rek kono kala ko o wadata rek yo o mijo simi wadi dum chaggal dum ko hoko wadata kono wata a mijo no hore ma re mijo no yimbe be sabu ko en bi ko en leedi diine te diine men de hokko de haali he gele jam daaren dum rek 
si en via ko en dine yam ko be en batta ko dine de hali ko rek de dine yagal men gal gal bang nen non si dum wadi ngatti ten hakkil e dine yagal men gal ko no wana dum don rende yo suka be ngatti hakkil hono mawbe be jodor no do dubi 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 ha be tawi hande en ke bindi leedi ni kedde woni den de ragal ke dingal ngal e wala kullu habata he jola kullu habata he sire kullu habata he sarahulle badi bunka habata he kiyanga nyomi ka habata he jaranga si en badi no rek gaccid en hen hakki rek ayat hay ko fotno wonde problem wala hare rek battenin in wona fea eh awa de jara mo fota me welti ke fota ande me hebi mako studio do ahali haraji labadi buy a fofu nak la mo na em suba mo ke ne go use des amo du polo me ak suba pol bi ne go bena amo du polo man pol fouta la amo du fa mo fouta toro la haw mo fou amo du an da pol badi bu la man pol fouta la da kum ne gay ni wonti ba nyo jam fa mariam it was really great having you on the studio to share your own experience with regards to peace and the role of youth in the upcoming election uh, i must say i've learned a lot of things i can uh, you can see that today we were not even doing the talking we let you to do the whole talking because uh, when it comes to the role of youth in pol in politics or in the upcoming election or peace building i think uh, people like you should be cited as an example and then you are you are perfect example of peace and because uh, we have been with you we know the type of person you are um you are very peaceful i don't know whether it's because you are part of the peace ambassador or that is your nature um this was the youth bantawa show and today our topic of discussion was the role of youth in peace building and also uh, their role in the upcoming election and then we had today amadu and we, we really appreciate uh, for honoring our invitation and i am umejalo Yes, I'm Amadou, uh, Mihala Diara Mabui, ala yoga nani. Yes. <laughs> um, um, to be honest, um, we've learned a lot, uh, as Umi said. Um, today was the youth part of our show. Today, I'm going to um, program, so I mean, Maria Machiam Nopi. I'm going to know what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to know what I'm going to do. It seems like, I'm going to be a lecturer. No, no, but, but then, you see, I think I have to say this. Um, mm -hmm. um, this is not me. Mm -hmm. This is a reflection of people, mm -hmm. of peace ambassadors to Gambia. Mm -hmm. Even if I were to live here, someone come in mm -hmm. who is part of peace ambassadors to Gambia, mm -hmm. you see this here. I know. So what I, what I am is a reflection of people behind that you don't see. I know. So that is who I am. Yes. That is, I am the people's reflection. Good. Yeah. And you are the people choice as well. <laughs> yes, because um, I can remember um, last Friday or Monday when I met you, I, I told you that um, I want to invite you to our youth bantaba show. And your colleague was like, yes, um, I think he is the best person that you can invite. And I've never regretted inviting you because we've seen the whole peace ambassador de Gambia. Um, uh, this was your youth bantaba show, as we said, where Dylan Nyah Regne and Dylan Balu Ahasilepa Lohamne was in the mingo wut ak topic bi yet ci di len ñax rek na yeen ñi nga xamne yene de sétan di yut bantaba show you can click into our facebook page and then like the page and if you want to do any form of a donation um, even starting from one dollar ci to 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 upwards then you can go and then meet the um, um, the various contact that may be available for you and uh, uh, till we come your way um, next week friday from the same hour um, from 12 to 1 o'clock and we are saying bye bye Remember, your vote is your voice, your vote is your right. Vote wisely and choose wisely. Till we come your way next week. Bye-bye.